Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but you'd really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so this clip today is all about hair care products, which I have reviewed. I've used them once, absolutely hated them or they've been absolutely pointless. So I've put them to the back of my sort of go to armory, which is a bit strange because when I say go to, you'd think that would be amazing products, but it's products which I put in there and I felt a little bit guilty about just disposing them or getting or getting rid of them, which I always try to try to do in a responsible way and I try to recycle the packaging. So I kind of don't necessarily like to do that straight away because I always think if the product doesn't necessarily work for you straight away, it may work if you give it a couple of days or a couple of weeks and then revisit it. But these have not. So this is four products today, which I'm going to be talking about kind of very quickly, because to be honest with you, I've not liked them. I found them useless and some no effect at all. And frankly, a little bit strange. So this is four products. So by the way, why am I doing this? I have an interest and a hobby of trying out and exploring with different hair care products. I have fine textured hair. I have quite a lot of it. My current hairstyle is like a top knot style at the moment. I've got some highlights in my hair. They've grown out. So I really like to use products which is great for condition, which could potentially be for damaged hair. Um, I really like to use products and serums and those sort of magic products, which apparently promise us more hair. So I love trying out all different products, particularly for fine textured hair and looking after our hair as well, whether that be a leave-in spray, a treatment or an oil. OK, so let's get back to the clip today. So the first product which we're going to be talking about is this. So this is by Tony and Guy. Now, this is the volumizer volume boost with a spritz of shine. So not particularly a masculine type product, but I am an absolute advocate for products being great for men and women. And why should they just be aimed particularly just at men or why should they be aimed particularly at women? Because fine hair affects both men and women. And if you can make hair look great for men and women, then why wouldn't you want to try the product? So this is by Tony and Guy. Now, I absolutely love the shampoo conditioner of this, the volumizing uh, range. I haven't actually got it at the moment, but I have done a review of it. It is amazing. In fact, some would say it makes the hair so soft and sleek. I actually questioned, is there any products in there which may be a little bit artificial and may in the end affect my hair and scalp? But ultimately, fantastic volume, really, really liked the shampoo and conditioner. When it comes to the root uh, volumizer spray, I really didn't like this. I fell out of love with this the first time I used it. Why? Because it made my hair feel like straw. I was going to review this just as a single review, but to be quite honest with you, in my opinion, it doesn't warrant it. Um, I really, really struggled to use this and I tried to use it for a couple of times and it just made my hair like straw. Now it says on the front here, glamour. So straight away it's aimed and it's in pink. So particularly it's aimed at woman. Um, it's a 3D volumizer with a spritz of shine. Now, if you can hear anything in the background here, we're having some building work done. And just as I'm talking, would you credit it? It's all started. I can hear a breaker outside and I can hear some hammering going on, but I'm just going to carry on. So, <laughs> so this, I didn't see any shine on it at all. In fact, it made my hair really quite dull and it made my hair like straw. So I used this straight away after the shampoo conditioner way, way long, long time ago now. But I used it in the last couple of days just to give a fair review of this because like anything, I put it kind of in the hypothetical cupboard in the back and I've just pulled it out now, sorting out some things today just to get rid of it, just to make a little bit more space as we're coming into the festive period for so I can sort of stash gifts and hide things out of the way. So that's why I always like to revamp everything, go through items as well. And ultimately, if you're not going to use something, then do something about it as well. So that's what this is all about this clip today. So this one. I'll be honest, don't recommend it, don't see the point of it, and it really, really needs looking at by Tony and Guy if they're still saying this, because it's 150 mil, and I found this absolutely pointless. It made my hair like straw, and it actually made my hair really, really dry. It gave my hair a little bit of volume, yeah, but it changed the texture considerably, even after that really nice shampoo conditioner. So this stuff, no, really don't like it. Gone. <laughs> I hope that's not just <laughs> on my floor. All right, really don't like the product. Absolutely horrible. Hate it. Let's move on. So this product was actually recommended to me. And I say recommended because my mum actually used this product and bought it for her. It's the L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin. OK, so bear that in mind, satin. And this is the heat styling spray for volume three days. Now, this type of product, OK, would suit somebody's hair, um, would suit a lady's hair who's going for that real glamorous blowout lookout. Look, look out, look, you would think, right. But here's the problem with this. I find that these type of sprays can either be amazing, they can be really, really great, make the hair luscious and full and bouncy and full for men's hair and for women's hair, of course, 
let's be honest, everybody wants great looking hair, and if you've got fine textured hair, volume and volumized looking hair can make the difference of a great looking style to a really lank, flat, naff looking style. But this stuff here, okay, my mum used it a couple of times, she thought it was okay, and I seen it one day and I thought, oh, okay, I asked my mum about it, and she said it's okay, it's not too bad, but it's not her favourite. She stopped using it really, really quickly, so that's a fair consensus that it's not something which she would use again. I tried it, asked mum if you would mind if I tried it, I tried this, it says volume for three days. Horrendous. I found this absolutely horrendous for one reason. It took a lifetime for my hair to dry. I really do not know why. I have fine textured hair and usually my hair does not take any time at all usually to dry. Um, but this stuff just seemed to hold the moisture in my hair, which I thought, number one, I'm exposing my hair to far more heat than I actually need to from the blow dryer. And actually, three days, it felt like straw and it felt really quite nasty and like a cakey substance in my hair. It didn't make me have that real nice sort of volumized look in my hair as I wanted it and the reason why you're not actually uh, kind of seeing my hairstyle now I appreciate that but I've got longer hair now and I've tried this product in like a pompadour style which I like which you'll see on my channel if you want to have a look at that there I've got lots of examples of that and how I do that but this stuff kind of almost made it more difficult to style my hair because it felt like I had this sort of cakey sort of clammy sort of product in my hair so for this reason no. It also says here it's a heat protectant technology, locks out flyaways and humidity. Yeah, it does, because it actually makes a hair feel quite stiff, um, almost like a hairspray rather than a styling product. So for me, no. This one is gone out the window too. Bye for now. <laughs> right, so the next one, this is the weird product which I came across. So bear in mind, we have only got two more products to look at, so please stay with me. So this product is the Moose Head. Yeah. So this is a gritty, yeah, I know, gritty styling clay, and it's a hold of 5 out of 5, and it's 100 grams. So it's got an amazing smell, it's like a coconut, sort of real tropical smell, I thought it would absolutely be amazing. I bought this in a supermarket here in my local town, um, here in the UK, of course, and I thought it would be really, really amazing. Tried it once. Weird. Very, very weird. Gritty. Gunky horrible, clay-like, uncomfortable, made my hair feel really dry, really washed out, almost as if it was going to break off. Really, really did not like this stuff at all. Um, wouldn't recommend it, really, really sorry to say. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. So I wouldn't be doing a clip on this one just on its own, otherwise it would be seconds. Really, do not bother. It made my hair feel like a nasty mess, almost like chewing gum. Um, really, really didn't like this and did not get the point. Found it really, frankly, quite weird why it was gritty. It didn't create texture in my hair. I've got fine textured hair. It didn't help with volume. It just felt, ugh. Okay, let's move on. So I'm not going to throw that one because that one's a little bit more heavier with the jar. Now this one, I absolutely love the range. So this one is very, very close to my heart. And this is the VO5. Now VO5 used to be my nan. Bless her heart. I have recently lost my nan, which is very, very difficult, very, very traumatic for me. And I struggle on a daily basis. I've always been very, very close to my nan. And my nan believed in not swapping and changing products. So growing up, my, my nan always, always she was 95 when we lost my nan, and she always had incredible hair, absolutely incredible hair, tons of hair, loads of volume, and she always, bless her heart, looked a film star. When my nan walked into a room, you think you, it, you, you really, really, really would have thought that she'd walked out of one of those 1920s, 1910s, sort of, almost like the Gatsby sort of films. My nan was, and is, beautiful. She's always with me and I can, I, she's she's really, really with me. So VO5 is very, very close to me. Um, and the shampoos and the conditioners I love, the heat sprays I love. Yeah, okay, it's pink, it's aimed at women, but I grew up with seeing loads of this in my nan's house all the time. When I was small, my nan washed my hair, she would use VO5. Um, the smell from the VO5 sort of hairspray, I can always remember. And the smell of this product, even now, I can remember sort of when I would be laughing or joking if I give my nan a hug, I could smell this. So I love, I love that sentiment to it. But this, unfortunately, I really, really wanted to love this product because I often wear my hair in like a pompadour style or if I wear it down uh, like longer because it's near enough touching my shoulders now with a bit of volume, a bit of texture. I thought this would be great because my hair falls quite flat. So this is the Volume Foam Mousse and it weightless volume with natural looking movements, 150 mil. 
Okay, I use this and it's a foam. It's a very, very light foam, but you know, it's so light and it's so little hold. To be quite honest with you, it really did not do nothing to my hair at all. I can imagine if you've got really, really fine, fine, almost like paper baby see-through hair, which can still be beautiful and can still look incredible into a style, then this would be great for you. But for me, I found it to be pretty pointless, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's a foam mousse. It says here, lightweight air-infused foam lifts from the roots to add body. To be quite honest with you, I found it just made my hair nothing. Absolutely done nothing at all. Um, wouldn't even know you had a product in your hair. And I've used lots of this, which made it feel like I had a bit of a, a build-up of product in my hair, but still really didn't do nothing for me. So as much as I love VO5, and I will always have a place in my heart for VO5, because it's my nan, to be quite honest with you, when I look at VO5, I think my nan, my amazing, beautiful nan. But this, not a very good product, I'm afraid. Um, and Nan would be disappointed in this one as well. She would actually turn around and say, um, and my Nan, bless her heart, always used to say to me, the thing is, love, when they keep messing around with these products and adding things and changing it. And she used to hate that, absolutely hate that. And I can hear my Nan cussing about it now. Um, she always loved to keep to the same product. She never believed in changing products at all. She never thought that it was good for you. Um, but yeah, it make, really make, VO5 really, really makes me smile. Okay, so I really hope you've enjoyed that clip. That's just four products, me sorting out sort of more space for my, uh, you can imagine for my channel, I've reviewed so many products now and it does take up space. I use products which I absolutely love, but the ones that I don't, of course you don't tend to use again, so you just hold on to, um, but that's four products which I really either don't see the point or I just find really, really weird or like this one, just Nothing at all. Really didn't add anything to me at all, unfortunately. Okay, so I really, really absolutely have loved doing this clip. Thank you very much for your company. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I wish you the very, very best. It's Saturday here in the United Kingdom. So I really, really hope you have a lovely evening. And from the bottom of my heart, I really hope to see you again soon. Bye for now, and I'll be seeing you real soon, hopefully. Bye.